government flouted an earlier directive to the National Labor Commission ruling to pay seven months arrears to members of the Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana, CTAG, as well as pay 15 leave days and credit one month additional duty allowance into their accounts. The Commission has once again directed the representatives of government to issue letters indicating terms of payment to the principals of the College of Education before asking CTAC to call off its strike. Finance has given a um, release. Controller is worked on it. It's going to be part of their salary this month. But there were other outstanding issues which the Commission had given directive which has not been complied with. And that is what the Commission has stated that it is not happy with the conduct of the complainant has given them up to the close of today to issue the letters to the colleges of the principals and of the colleges to implement same and no others. The commission must have a letter stating the status of implementation. They have been directed to call off the strike upon receipt of the letter. But CITAC says it will not call off a strike until they receive a firm commitment from government. We want to see evidence. If you are telling me what I'm owing you, I'm going to pay it in August. I want evidence to show that, yes, when I get salary drops, I will see that payment. And if you are in a way saying that maybe this one will be delayed, let me see what you are saying. And I'll see if I can agree or not. So when we get all these documents, then we also can go back to our constituents. The commission is asking us to stay our strike for now.